Patris, et Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Interoi, Vora Taridei, Adem, Pilatificati, Vincit Emeo. Iuticam e Deus, de ce ne cause mea, de ce te dam sancta pe mine, ne coate dau să verru e mei. Cu ea tu este eu, scoarit uza mea, coare mea repedistie, coare trăiesc în cer, azi mă feriți mea inimicus. În mijlocul tău, ce-mi temă feritat, îmi temă să mi-i deruc să-i arunc, să-i atâc să-i arunc, să-i atâc 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 să-i Spera in Deo, quando mi atto con pite barili, salta a rivotus mei, e Deus meus. Gloria Patri, Spidio Spiritu e Santo, si che trovate in principio, ad nipper semper, ad in seco da seco da orma men. Mentre ho i vora tari Dei, a Deo in pute divicati, ben tutta mea. Adiutorium nostrum in nomine Domini, che fece già da materam. A video Deo Onipotenti, Beati Maria, Sempre Vergini, Beati Michele, a Cangelo, Beati Ione Battiste. Santis Patris, Petro e Paolo, et Omnibus Sanctis, Quia becavi ni misuritazione verbo ad opere, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. E Dio precor, beati Maria, un sopra Virgine, beati Michele, ma cangelo, un beati mio non battista. Santos vostro, specie me Paolo, e Domine Santos, orare per me, Domino Deo nostro. Miseriatore nostri, omnipotente Deo, te de misus peccatis nostri, spedicat nostra vita eterna. Amen. In the gentium of Sutium, the Medimission, the Becator Nostro, and Tribat Nobis Omnipotent, the Misericos Dominus. Amen. In Deus, to converse to Spiricavis Nos, the Pleps to Ale Tabitor in Te, the Standing of His Domine Misericordium to Am, et Salutare to Am da Nobis, in Domine Exaudi Oratione Mea, Maclava Mea Sadeveniat, in Dominus Sobiscum, Ecum Spiritu Tuo, Oremus. In medio ecclesia e aperuit aos eos, et implevit eum Domino Spiritu Sapientia et intertextus, tolum gloria induit eum, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bonum est campiteri Domino, psaudere nomini tua altissime. Gloria Patri, et pideo Spiritu e Santo, si cadrat in principio, et nipper semper, et in seco da seco da orum, Amen. In medio ecclesia e aperuit aos eos, et implevit eum Domino Spiritu Sapientia et intertextus, tolum gloria induit eum, Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie Deison, Kyrie Deison, Kyrie Deison, Christe Deison, Christe Deison, Christe Deison, Kyrie Deison, Kyrie Deison, Kyrie Deison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax imeni pospone voluntati, saudamus Te, veridicimus Te, adoramus Te, glorificamus Te. Gratis agimus Tibi facte manium gloriam Tuam, Domine Deus, Rex Cedestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fidi Unigenite Iesu Christe, In Domine Deus, Agnus Dei, Fidius Patris, qui tolis peccata mundi miserere nobis, qui tolis peccata mundi succebeta precazionam nostram, qui serata dexteram Patris miserere nobis, quonem tu sodus sanctus, tu sodus dominus, tu sodus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. In Dominus Obiscum, ecum spiritu tuo. Oremus. Deus qui ad errorum insidios rebellendos et apostolice sedis iura propaganda beatum Robertum Pontificem tuum, atque doctorum, mira erudizione et virtute decorasti, eus meritis et indigestione concede, et nos in veritatis amore crescamus et erontium corte ad ecclesiae tue rediant unitatem, per Domeum nostrum Iesum Christum Fidium tuum, qui te cavivita regna Trinitate Spiritu Sancti Deo, speramia secula secudorum. Amen. Lectio Libri Sapientiae, Octavi et Datus est mihi sensus, et invocavi et venit in me Spiritus Sapientiae, e preposui illa me regnus et seribus et divitias nihil esse duci et duxi in comparazione ilius, ne comparavi illi lapidem preciosum, quoniam amne aurem in comparazione ilius arena est exigua, et amcam lutem estimabatur argentum in conspectu ilius, Super salutem especiem dilexi ilam, e proposui produce avere ilam, quanem inextinguibile est dumen ilius, venerum datem mi omnia bona pariter cum ila, et innumerabilis honestas per manus ilius, e vetatus tuum in omnibus quanem antecedebat me ista sapientia, et ignorabam quanem orum omnium materes, quam sine ficcione dilici et sine invidia comunico, 
et an estatum idios non abscandel. Infinitus enem tesaurus est ominibus, quo, usi, quo qui usi sunt participes facti sunt amicitia dei frater discipline dona commendati. Deo gratias. Alleluia, alleluia. Qui docti fuerint fulgebunt quasi spendor firmamenti. Alleluia, qui ad justitiam eriudiunt motos quasi stelle in perpetuas eternitates. Alleluia. Dominus Soviscum, ecum Spiritu Tuo, sequentia Sancti Evangelii, secundum Matteum, Gloria Tibi Domine, in la tempore dixit Iesus discipoli Suis, vas esti salter, recosis ad evanuerit in quos ad iatur, ad nihilum valetu trenissi ut metater fora seca concertor ab aminibus, vas estis lux mundi, non potes civitas abscondi supra mantem posita, Neque accendut lucerna me ponenteum sub modio, sed super candelabrum ut luci et omnibus qui in domo sunt. Sic luci et lux vestra corma minibus, ut vidiant opera vestra bona, e glorificent patrum vestrum qui in cedis est. Nulite putare quen in veni sobere legima profetas, non veni sobere sed ad implere. Amen qui pei dico vobis, donec tranti et cedem et terra, e iota una, ma tunas apex non prete libita lege donec omnia fiant. Qui ergo soverit unum demandatis tistis minimis, et ocuit sic homines, minimus vocabitur in regno celorum, qui atem fecerit et ocuerit, dic magnus vocabitur in regno celorum. Laus tibi Christe. In the tradition of St. Louis de Montfort, let us pray, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So a uh, brief announcement before we get into the sermon. Um, due to um, circumstances beyond our control, um, the tentative date for the public masses has been pushed back to Saturday, May 23rd. Um, so um, before you, um, you start um, uh, you know, despairing, we've got to remember that although uh, we have a couple setbacks, in a pilgrimage, the final miles of the journey, they feel the longest. Um, I remember I've been doing pilgrimages since about 2010, uh, almost every year doing a, a pilgrimage. And I, I tell you what, the, uh, even though you can see the basilica right there, and even though you know it's almost over, sometimes it's those final miles, the, um, the last you know, hoorah, so to speak, is the most difficult, but at the same time, uh, the most rewarding when you continue. Now, remember, we have to be careful not to lose those spiritual gains we've made uh, during this time. So, if you had a pilgrimage, if you're doing a pilgrimage, and let's say that you've spent a whole bunch of time meditating, walking um, along that spiritual road towards your um, destination, the place of pilgrimage, you may have become uh, more aware of certain faults that you have and uh, prayed for our Lord to give you the grace to overcome them. Perhaps in this uh, spiritual journey on this pilgrimage, God has given you the grace to make a good confession of uh, past sins, things that perhaps you had forgotten for years and years. And by the silence and solitude of this pilgrimage, God has given you the grace to really dig down, to really see yourself not as you like yourself to be, 
not as we imagine ourselves, this sort of inflated ego, but rather as God sees us. And perhaps with this spiritual journey, as with a pilgrimage, we begin to leave off the baggage of the world. We begin to break the bonds of inordinate attachments. We see sin for what it truly is, and we begin to leave it behind. Now, as we get towards the final stretch of our spiritual journey, we don't want to get back into that salty sailor vocabulary um, as those blisters begin to bug you, as those um, the aches and pains of, uh, of walking for hours and hours on end. We don't want to lose that spiritual benefit that we've gotten. We've come so far. You know, those pilgrimages that last hundreds of miles. Imagine all the spiritual things that you had gained throughout this pilgrimage, and with the basilica in sight, with the end right there, you begin to lose it by cursing, by getting angry, and things like that. We don't want to lose all the spiritual benefits that we've had uh, right in the final stretch. So remember, we are in a spiritual pilgrimage. This veil of tears here below is not our final destination. We're made for more eternal things. We're made for heaven. So on that uh, pilgrimage, an earthly pilgrimage to an earthly shrine, there are many difficulties that you might encounter. You might have a few setbacks. Perhaps there's a very beautiful area as you're walking by. This, decide to spend a little bit of time, get a quick water break, and the quick water break turns into an afternoon and the place, and before you know it, you haven't made any progress. Uh, so pilgrimage is an entire, uh, is more than just simply uh, a journey from point A to point B. There is also a period in your life that God works, gives you many graces. Now, in the Ariesville pilgrimage, the Pilgrimage for Restoration in upstate New York, where we visit the shrine of the North American martyrs, the place where those holy missionaries gave their lives for the faith, there is a specific stretch of road at the very last day of that pilgrimage that, uh, that God gives the most graces. The people who up to this point had been singing and, uh, and uh, reciting the, the rosary and all kinds of things now begin to become very quiet and contemplative. And it is usually at that point that God gives many, many graces to those souls. Now, it happens that those who are on that third day might be in excruciating pain from blisters or from, uh, you know, various other things that you might get from walking more than, uh, say, 40 miles or so. You've got a couple, you know, about 10 more miles to go. And this specific stretch over here uh, on that pilgrimage is a, a time where God gives many, many graces. Now, it could be that uh, during this stretch, that final stretch, the, uh, it, you might begin to complain and see those blisters and uh, say, are we there yet? Every single step that you take. And the graces that God could be giving you are wasted, are taken away. And it's not just simply, uh, you know, uh, any kind of uh, speculation on my part. The one who organizes the pilgrimage made it a special point. Father, can you make sure that you hear confessions during this time because this is the time that God gives the most graces. You see powerful conversions of people who had just been more or less in it for the camaraderie and fellowship, but not for the spiritual aspects, now suddenly find themselves doing all kinds of uh, good confessions, you know, things that will change their lives uh, quite profoundly and for the better. This is someone who had been on the pilgrimage quite longer than I had, it's maybe about 20 years worth of experience. And he says, yeah, it's been my experience. This is the point right here, from this mile marker all the way to that mile marker. That's where the magic happens, so to speak. That's where God really digs deep into the soul and works his grace in ways that perhaps we can never truly realize on this side of the grave. Now, remember, 
our Catholic faith teaches us that every man is created, that who is created has sufficient grace to save his soul. There is not a single man out there, be he, uh, you know, even Judas himself had enough grace to save his soul. It was available. He could have done it if he had been faithful. But not everyone uses this grace God gives us and rejects it. So if this sufficient grace sticks, if it sanctifies, then we call this efficient grace. This grace that does what it's intended to do. Now, we don't know how long we have or how many chances you'll get before our time comes because no one knows the day or the hour. You could be completely healthy. You, uh, you choke on your bacon cheeseburger at lunchtime today and you kick it. You know, it's possible for you to be in perfect health and pass from this world. Uh, it's uh, especially if you got that whole social distancing thing, no one to do the Heimlich maneuver, bacon cheeseburger finishes you off. Um, no cholesterol required. Uh, if you are in the state of grace, if you have responded to God's grace throughout all this time, then if you were to die in the state of grace, well, yes, it is unfortunate, but not all that bad. Okay, you, you die in a state of grace and you're good to go. But we have to make sure that uh, we don't waste those chances while we still have them. So take advantage of the grace God gives you every moment of every day. Never let an opportunity go by to grow in grace. Because who knows, this moment may be your last. We have to always be on guard. We have to always be attentive because it might be that most difficult mile. It might be the darkest point of your life, the, uh, the time in which you have nothing but suffering. You ever have a foot just filled with blisters? The entire foot is basically one massive blister and you keep going like this as you keep on walking. Yes. It might be very tempting to say, that's it, I'm done, I'm not walking a moment more. It could be that you are suffering beyond anything that you had experienced before. But at the same time, God gives graces in the weirdest of circumstances. God gives graces of conversion, of sanctification, in places that we would never expect. And if we are not on the lookout, we might miss it. If we are not paying attention, we could just walk by. We could even begin to slide backwards in our spiritual life, to go from uh, all the spiritual gains that perhaps we have made and throw it out the door in one act of unbridled rage at something that was out of our control. We must make sure that we are, uh, we are patient because at the end, it is not so much a question of arriving at the destination, but sometimes God works his greatest miracles on the journey itself. St. Paul was on a journey when he was knocked off his horse and converted. You have the road to Emmaus. Our Lord spoke to his disciples. Their hearts were burning with love for God as they heard his words. And it was not until after he broke bread with them that they realized. If they had noticed such a little bit earlier on, how much more do you think they would have gotten? They only realized when he broke the bread, and then he vanished from their sight. We have so many instances of people being converted on the way, not at the destination. And so if you think, that once we get to this specific point, that's it. Then I can start getting sanctified. You are mistaken. Because remember, God uses everything. All the way from the denial of our Lord with uh, St. Peter as a uh, threefold profession of his faith, he became even stronger to the point where he would, as his final request before he died, have his execution increased by being crucified upside down. This same God who took the fall of Adam and Eve 
this fall that wrecked it for all of humanity and gave us a Redeemer who would lift us up from the, the mire and muck of sin and raise us to be adopted sons of God and heirs of the kingdom of heaven. Stay close to our Blessed Mother on this journey. She will keep us on the right path and arrive at our heavenly destination. Don't stumble before you arrive where we need to go. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus Obiscum, Mecum Spiritu Tuo, Oremus. Mihi alta materia re Deo bonum est ponere in Domino Deus per meam, ut nuncium amnes predicationes tuas in fortis fidei sion. Alleluia. Orate fratres. Sui ci piata manu sacrificium de manibus mei, salatem e coriam nomini sui, a rituitatem cope nostrum totius pe ecclesiae sui sante. Omnia secoda secodorum, amen. Dominus abiscum, ecum spiritu tuo, sursum corda, abemus ad dominum, gratia segamus domino Deo nostro, dignum et iustem est. Veri dignum et iustem est, ecum et adotare, te quidum domine omni tempore, serenoc patissimum gloriosius predicare, compasca nostrum immodatus est Christus. 
Nefsi anem veros est anius qui quiam sedit peccata mundi, qui matam nostram odiendo destruxit vitam resurgendo reparavit. Et idio cum angelis et archangelis cum serenis et dominationibus, cum qui amni milici celestis exercitus, enem gloria tua et animus sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Teo Sabaoth, penis uncedia terra gloria tua, osana in excelsis, perdictus qui venet in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis.
Tu não viste qualquer pecatório, pô. Caronia secota, secotoro, amen. Orem, spicciati satari vos moniti, e divina istituzione formati ad emus digere. Pato nostri, qui es in gesi, santificato nomen tuum, e venit regnum tuum, via voluntas tua, sicut in cea dat in terra. Pano nostri, quotidiano de novis odie, e dimite novis debita nostra, sicut ad nostri, mitimus debitori vos nostris, e da nos inducas in tentazione, se di vera nostra modo. Per omnia secola, secolorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper vobisco, et con spiritu tuo. Agnus te, que to es peccato mundi miserere nobis. Agnus te, que to es peccato mundi miserere nobis. Agnus te, que to es peccato mundi dona nobis pacem. Dominant to me. Dominant to me. Dominant to me.
vas estis lux mundi, sic lucia lux vestra corma minibus, ut vidiant opera vestra bona, glorificent patrem vestrem, gliem celis est, alleluia. In Domine Soviscum, ecum Spiritu Tuo, oremus. Sacramenta quae sumsimus Domine Deus noster, in nobis pobi ant caritatis adorem, quo beatus Robertus vehementer crescus, Vescensus, brocesia tua se iuditer impendebat, per Domem nostrum, Iesum Christum vidium tuum, vide cum vivita regna trinitate, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per amnia secula, seculorum. Amen. Dominus Soviscum, ecum Spiritu Tuo, ite missa est, Deo gratias. Predicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Soviscum, ecum Spiritu Tuo, Enitium Sancti Evangelii, Secundem Ioannem, Gloria Tibi Domine, in principio erat verbum verbum rat budeum, et Deus erat verbum, o carat principio ab budeum, omnia per ipsum facta sum, de sini ipsa factum est, nihil cot factum est, in ipsa vita erat, et vita erat, ux omedem und ux in tenebe surit et tenebe eam non comprehenderunt, fuitum avisus ad Deo, cui nomen erat Ioannes, nec verit in testimonium et testimonium per iberet et Domine, et omnes credere in perilum, Non era tida dux era testimonium per iberet et Domine, era dux vera quedum et omnum hominem veniat in hoc mundum, in mundum erat in mundus prifsum factus est, in mundus eam non cognovit, in propria venite sui eam non receperunt, poco datum receperunt eam, der deis potestatum videos dei fieri, visti creerunt in nomine eius, pina nec sanguinibus, nec quae ex vanta de carnis, nec quae ex vanta de viri, ser ex Deo natis sunt, e bevam caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, Me vidim es gloriam eos, gloriam quasi unigenitia Patre, plenum gratiae e veritatis. Deo gratias. Hea Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hea Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, O exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look thou have mercy upon thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of the blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, Do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which you pour forth for the conversion of sinners, and for the freedom and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snare to the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in times of epidemics. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins, and take not vengeance on us because of our misdeeds. Help us, O God, our deliverer, and for thy name's sake, O Lord, free us. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Hasten to us with thy compassion, for we are become exceeding poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God, and ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, 
and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, world without end. Amen. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos, et maniat semper. Amen.